Hi you guys! Welcome to my California farm and we are so happy that you could join us today because we are going to take you on an exciting journey time traveling and we know it's an exciting journey because we already did it live with a group of people and received a great feedback. Unfortunately it couldn't be video recorded at that time so we're making this video specifically for you. So we're going to talk today about the history of bees and beekeeping. You see, my son, who was in eighth grade last year, was given a task to create a presentation on the topic of history of something. And he chose the history of bees and beekeeping. He collected all the material, all the um, photos, either on the internet or made them himself here at our uh, beehives. And we created this presentation for you. It's an interesting educational presentation in a non-nerdy way about the bees. And we really hope you like it. And before we start, please subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any future content. And now, sit tight. We are going to take you 100 million years back in time. Let's go. Bees probably first evolved 100 million years ago alongside pollinator plants from a predatory wasp species that evolved 200 million years ago from insects that first appeared in the Carboniferous period 300 million years ago. In this picture, you can see that old predatory wasp in amber. It is documented that humans had harvested honey from bees up to 25,000 years ago. We know that from rock art in caves, which have depicted honeycomb and bees and people climbing ladders to get to the honey. It is likely that humans had harvested honey even earlier than that, using stone tools to break open the beehives. Later in history, 9,000 years ago, a study reports finding honey residues inside pottery from Turkey. By 5000 BC, honey was widespreadly foraged for in Europe and Asia, most abundantly in the Balkan Peninsula, which includes modern-day countries such as Greece, Turkey, Bulgaria, Serbia, Romania, Croatia, and many more. The first records of actual beekeeping in your own equipment is dated back to the Bronze Age, which started in 3300 BC and ended in 1200 BC. And the first states to employ actual beekeeping were Egypt, Sumer, Assyria, and Babylonia. They used pottery to keep bees. And on this picture, you can see a replica of such a pot. 2,000 years ago, the first skep was invented. A skep is a straw or wicker beehive, like on this picture. And even later, the gum was invented. A gum is a long, hollowed out wooden log which is used for bees to nest. In 1789, François Hubert introduced the Lifet, or book hive. This type of design allows the beekeepers to inspect the hive because of the frames that are lived through, just like flipping a book page. Other people had created hives that had the hive open at the side and also allow for beekeeper to inspect it. However, the most important revolution in beekeeping happened about 170 years ago. You see, the issue with previous hives and the hives of the time was that the bee colony would either have to be killed to get the honey, or the bees used too much comb or too much propolis in the wrong spots. All that made beekeeping really hard. That is until Lorenzo Lorraine Lenstroth came along. His idea is called bee space. He incorporated that idea into his own design of hives. He discovered that if you live between 2 eighths of an inch to 3 eighths of an inch space between the frames in the hive, which is the size of a bee, they won't fill it with comb or propolis, which makes sense because it's the size of a bee and I guess they keep that space as necessary travel space. Another important invention happened in late 1800s when Theodore Pitt invented queen cage, which enabled to um, safely and easily introduce a new queen into the hive. And here is the modern day queen bee cage. It is slim and elongated to fit the body of the queen bee. 
It is about the size of my finger. It is made of wood. Here is a little window where you would be able to see the queen bee when it is here. And then over here, you will put a marshmallow plug or a special plug made from um, queen bee candy. And the queen bee will have to eat her way out of the cage. And this is done because it gives uh, the bees an opportunity to get acquainted with the new queen bee for about 48 hours until she gets out. And then they won't hurt her and accept her as their new queen bee. When we talk about history of bees, we also have to talk about the pests of the bees and their history. There are several pests, but one of them is really major. It's called the varroa mite. This mite originated alongside the Asian honeybee. And to understand why it's dangerous, you have to understand the structure of the colony. On this photo, you can see worker bees and queen. On this picture, you can see worker bees and drones. So originally, the varroa mite preyed on the drone side of the hive. The mice did not kill workers or the queen. This did not harm the overall house of the hive, because drones are male bees who live only to mate with queens from other colonies. When they mate with the queen, they die. But somehow, the varroa mite came in contact with the European honey bee. The bee used today to harvest honey. The European honey bee was much less adapted to the mite and could not stand up to it. So nowadays, the mite destroy all members of the hive. It can kill the entire colony if it is not monitored by the beekeeper. Another big thing that started affecting the bees recently is pesticides. Please don't use any harmful pesticides in your garden if you want to have honey in the future. If you need to use any chemicals in your garden, please only use the ones that are labeled bee friendly, but even then read the instructions carefully because they have to be applied only in certain quantities and at certain time of the day. Also, plant bee friendly plants in your garden, such as rosemary, sage, and lavender. And guess what? These plants are also beneficial for you in the kitchen. So let's do our part to help save honeybees. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and then subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any future content. Thank you for watching. Bye.